The number three Republican in the House of Representatives, Steve Scalise, is in critical condition, shot by a man with a rifle during baseball practice. Cell phone video captured the scene yesterday in Alexandria, Virginia. The group of GOP lawmakers were practicing for tonight's charity game against Democrats. Four people were shot, including House Majority Whip Scalise of Louisiana. He was rushed to the hospital in a medevac helicopter for emergency surgery. Doctors say that a bullet tore through Scalise's abdomen, breaking bones and damaging internal organs. President Trump and the First Lady Melania Trump visited Scalise in a Washington hospital last night. The White House says the president sat at his bedside and spoke with his family. Mr. Trump also met Capitol Police Officer that's Crystal Griner. She was hit by a bullet in the ankle as she returned fire. Lobbyist Matt Micah and congressional staffer Zach Barth were also shot. Capitol Police Officer David Bailey and Congressman Roger Williams were injured. The gunman, James Hodgkinson, died after police shot him several times. The shooting happened on a public baseball field about five miles from the U.S. Capitol. The gunman approached from the third baseline while more than 30 people were practicing. Jeff Pegues is at the crime scene with new details on this investigation. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. We're about 50 yards away from that third baseline, and from here you can really see what the gunman was seeing, except 24 hours ago that baseball field was filled with Republican congressmen when the gunman, who was heavily armed, opened fire. Gunfire pierced the air for 10 agonizing minutes as James Hodgkinson opened fire. There's also uh, a victim down in the baseball field. U.S. Capitol Police officers, part of House Majority Whip Congressman Steve Scalise's security detail, and Alexandria police fired back. Witnesses say Hodgkinson was armed with a handgun and rifle when he approached a fence along the third baseline and started firing. He never got on the field. Representative Scalise, standing on second base, was shot first in the hip. Other lawmakers took cover in the first base dugout. We could see Steve Scalise out into the field. Arizona Senator Jeff Flake waited for an opportunity to help his injured colleague. I just ran low out to Steve and, uh, and started putting pressure on the wound. Investigators believe the 66-year-old Hodgkinson, originally from Illinois, was out of work and had been living in his van in the Alexandria area since March. The nearby Y was struck by bullets. Locals saw him there frequently. He always had his laptop, so he was always with his laptop, his laptop bag, kind of getting set up. Hodgkinson's Facebook page shows that he supported Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders and did not like President Trump. He was a member of a group called Terminate the Republican Party. We are looking to glean what we can from the contents regarding his electrical devices that he owns. We're exploring all angles and we'll let the facts take us where it goes. So did the gunman target someone specifically on the baseball field, or was this just a target of opportunity for him? That's what investigators are looking into, among other things. Congressman Jeff Duncan of South Carolina says that before the gunman opened fire, he asked him if there were Republicans on the field. Jeff. Jeff, thank you very much.